six years ago, I became an atheist. And it was one of the most significant things that's happened in my life because it was the first time that I understood the importance of critical thinking. And it was the beginning of my understanding of the value of learning, of evidence, and of reason. I was brought up in a traditional liberal Jewish family. When I was 16, I learned about evolution in biology class, and that was the beginning of my questioning my religion. And when I was 19, I became an atheist and I started writing about my experiences. Say that I need to be safe. Say with me the dip. I'm a musician, I'm a singer-songwriter, and so it was natural for me to start writing about this really significant change in the way that I saw the world. I played at the Reason Rally back in 2012 and it was this huge secular rally uh, in the United States. It was on the National Mall in Washington DC and there were 30,000 people there. And everyone uh, you know, was engaged with the same issues that I was singing about, which was an amazing experience. I've been to 25 states now across America playing at these events. I've been to New York, Philadelphia, Alabama, Texas, California. The conferences are really varied in nature. Some of them are more about community and fostering a safe and supportive place for people who have left their religion. Uh, some of them are more focused on politics, so pushing back against laws that discriminate against non-believers. Some of them are social events, some of them are charity drives, trying to raise money and normalise the profile of non-religious people in the country. So the secular movement is growing all around the world and it's made up of people who don't identify as religious. Um, there's people who've just never been brought up with religion and are atheists or don't even identify as such, maybe humanists or free thinkers. And uh, people who have left their religion. I think with the internet and the access to information that we have now, a lot of people who might otherwise never have been challenged in their worldviews are finding new ideas and, and changing their minds about the way they see the world. This movement needs no excuses. If you're a girl going to school in Afghanistan, you're met with acid in your face or food poisoning. If you're Hamza Kashkari, a 23-year-old journalist in Saudi Arabia, for tweeting about Muhammad and about how women's status in, in Saudi Arabia is the same as being in hell, they won't need to go to hell twice, who's now facing execution as a result. Even in secular democracies like America, uh, non-religious people face a lot of discrimination and challenges, uh, whether it be through political bias, um, through discrimination at work or through facing being ostracized by their communities or being cut off from their families. Uh, in some countries you could be arrested just for being a secular advocate, just for being a blogger or involved in the online atheist community. It's a place for those of us that have been shunned from our families because we're like atheists or skeptics or um, and I want to expand it with them science-based medical support for, for um, chronic illnesses for medical or mental and physical. Uh, it hasn't been a hard fight, but sometimes it's been challenging and scary. I've continued with my preacher persona because I feel like it's more a part of my culture, that it's more part of my background, and that, uh, and that it is an art form. So this is our chance in this room to really change the world and make it better. I think that we can do this together because if the religious right can organize for intolerance and injustice, we can organize for science and for reason and for compassion. And I ask you to take the extra step and make the extra effort to do it. We can do this together. I love getting to raise awareness about these issues and getting to play my music at the same time. So I do a lot of press 
uh, talking about my work with the secular community, radio interviews, print interviews, and uh, the most rewarding part has been the connection that I get to make with people through my music. Uh, for people who don't agree with my worldview, uh, maybe this is a way of normalising atheism that they can see what that worldview is actually like. I use my music not only to share the way that I see the world, but to help create the world that I want to see.